Did Lut Aleisam give up on his community? Did he? How sincere are you about helping those who identify themselves to be homosexual? How serious are you, right? Lut Aleisam was willing to give his daughters. What are you willing to give up? You see, it's easy to just chat. It's easy to just talk about it and just say, oh, they're wrong, they're haram, Allah's going to destroy them. It's easy. You could do that. Anyone could do that, right? Lut Aleisam could have done that too, but what did Lut Aleisam do first? He was like, yeah, qawmi. Yeah, Qaumi. He said, my people. He didn't say, ew, you guys. Lut is saying, oh, my people. Way of Life SQ, keeping it a hundred. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am truly grateful, thankful, and humbled that you decided to spend some of your time here with me today. Giving dawah to the LGBTQ community. Uh, before we actually jump into this video, uh, I don't have my mic with me. My camera, I'm actually using my phone to record this because I forgot my kit. Uh, because I, I travel with my kit, my camera, and my microphone. But for some reason, subhanAllah, qadr of Allah, I forgot it, right? But uh, the real test Allah put me through right now is like, okay, SQ, are you going to use this as an excuse to not make a daily reminder video? Or are you just going to push through this and use the resources that you have? And the answer is that I'm using the resources that I have. So with, uh, without further ado, giving dawah to the LGBT community. See, as a school teacher, I'm, I'm school for you. Um, this is a classroom. So my classroom, it's a classroom that I'm sharing right now. I took off my mask because you wouldn't be able to hear me unless I had my mic on. So I had to you know, take off the mask. As you can see, as you can see, the drip is serious. The drip is extremely serious right now. And this video is definitely brought to you and sponsored by my partners, Sindeed. So guys, please check out their website because they have a ton of great stuff to have, uh, clothing and all that good stuff. I'm currently not wearing any of it because you know how I do. A real supporter right here promoting them. I'm not wearing anything of theirs. However, their stuff is dope. They're a Muslim company and they're, they're, the quality of their clothes along with the style of their clothes is next level. So definitely check out their website. Even if you're not buying anything, just go over there, check out the website, uh, just because it shows that I'm bringing them value. And with that, they can continue to sponsor uh, and partner with me so that I can use that money for cooler social experiments. Let's jump into this video right now, okay? You see, our problem is that there's certain people that we're not giving dawah to. You see, when it comes to the LGBTQ community, we're hands off. The reason they're going down their own path, I mean, and I'm talking specifically to like Muslims, but overall the community itself, the reason that they're going down this path is because they have no guidance, right? We've seen masjids that the imam is gay or they're promoting gay or homosexuality or something. Other. We've seen things like that, right? Like, you know, I don't need to like post articles, right? You know what I'm talking about. There's a sense of deviance happening. And the radiance, and the radiance, the reason the deviance is happening is because we are not providing the dawah. So of course it's going to be deviance, right? Of course you're going to get a deviated scholar, a deviated sheikh, a deviated imam, because they have a, a void that needs to be filled. And because we're not filling that void by giving the knowledge and understanding people and giving a, like a little helping ear, listening to the people, they're going to find people who go with their own agenda. And one thing that you have to remember is that even if a person comes out the closet, even if they are full on, you know, like showing the world that they are gay and they're identifying that they are gay, that doesn't mean their problems are solved. You understand? That doesn't mean they don't get sad. That doesn't mean they don't have depression. That doesn't mean that they're not experiencing all the daily traumas and trials that you and I go through. I would argue that they experience it more than us. More than us. Imagine that. Imagine living with a reality that you know that you feel that you're different from the world, but you're hiding it. That you're, 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 you're keeping it a secret, right? You feel different, you know things are wrong, but you don't know how to express it. And then you just live this life until one day you decide to come out. But even when you come out, there's still a lot of trauma. But guess what? Islam has a solution. The dawah, like giving people dawah, like Islam is the solution for whatever problems people are having. And if you are someone out there who thinks that we need to give up on the community, that's not how Islam is practiced. Did Lut Aleyhisselam give up on his community? Did he? How sincere are you about helping those who identify themselves to be homosexual? How serious are you, right? Lut Aleyhisselam was willing to give his daughters. What are you willing to give up? 
You see, it's easy to just chat. It's easy to just talk about it and just say, oh, they're wrong, they're haram, Allah's going to destroy them. That's easy. You could do that. Anyone could do that, right? Lut could have done that too, but what did Lut do first? He was like, ya qawmi, ya qawmi. He said, my people. He didn't say, ew, you guys. Lut is saying, oh, my people. You know, the messenger Sassanam used to be up, up at night, making dua, crying to Allah to the degree that the floor would get wet. Okay. He was crying for his own self, no. He was crying for his ummah. We know that the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam had saved his dua to help the ummah. Yes, to help us. Okay. When he's crying for the ummah, I want you to understand he's crying for everyone. Everyone at everyone. You guys need to really, really grasp this concept, right? Everyone is the ummah of the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. No one's the Ummah of Isa alayhi salam. No one's the Ummah of Musa alayhi salam. No one's the Ummah of Ibrahim alayhi salam. Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is the last and final messenger. The Quran is the last and final testament. The Quran is the rubric for all mankind. After the time of the messenger saw some, every human at the time of the messenger saw some being born, they have to adhere to that rubric. That is the rubric. So when the messenger saw some saying ummati, right? He's not just talking about us Muslims over here. It's everyone. And it is our responsibility to deliver the message of Islam to everyone, including those who identify themselves to be in the LGBTQ community. We have to give da'wah to everyone because if we don't give them da'wah, they're going to find a way. Let's see, it's the bell. I'm telling you, I'm really in the classroom right now. If we don't give them da'wah, there's going to be deviated forms of da'wah given to them that supports their needs. Why? Like, think about it. They have spiritual needs. Those who are identifying themselves to be LGBTQ, they have spiritual needs. They have needs that are not being met. And they think that maybe the, the thing that they're missing in their life is their uh, maybe sexuality. Maybe it's the secret that they're keeping within themselves. They think that's what's missing. But what's truly missing to keep that qalb and salim, right? To keep that heart with real tranquility is the remembrance of Allah. And it is our responsibility to give them that remembrance of Allah. So please don't write people off. Don't write people off. That's not the right way to do things. You know what I mean? It doesn't mean that, you know, we just say it's okay to do whatever you want. But, like, I, we can't control that. We really cannot control what people are doing. What we can control is the efforts that you and I put in to give them the message. And that is our responsibility, you know? You have to put away your own personal feelings about everything like that. And you have to be able to strike a conversation with them and talk to them about these things, you know? And look, you know... A lot of times people join these groups and support groups because that's exactly what it is. They need support. They feel lonely. They feel like they're missing. So they have to be a part of a bigger environment to remind themselves that what they're doing is correct. Because when they're alone and when they're with their own nafs, people know that there's something wrong with how they're doing or what they're doing or what they're behaving. People know this, right? We know that there's people who identify themselves to be that, but they know that it's not natural for them to do. Right? So they join these bigger communities so that they can sort of numb that feeling and those voices that are inside of their head. So don't give up on people. Lut didn't give up on anyone. We shouldn't be giving up on people too. I know this is a very controversial and weird message, but nonetheless, it had to get stated. I also want to give a shout out to my brother Omar, who called me all the way from Australia today, randomly in the morning. And he just said a lot of kind things to me, and I appreciate you, Omar, for that. Uh, and just know that you are an asset to the Ummah, and so is everyone else watching these videos right now. I love and appreciate you all. I hope this video quality was like okay. I know I'm just standing at a weird angle and doing this, but nonetheless, it had to get done because I make daily videos, and that's what needs to get done. I love you all. For the sake of Allah, check out some of my other videos right over here. Um, tell me your thoughts. Share your thoughts in the comment section below. If you think that you have a really cool video idea for the next video, Tell me that in the comment section below too. But until next time, I'm out.